Jesus is good. Oh, you you Thomas, don't rub too hard on her bones. You might hurt her. What do you know? She likes it. Look at her face. Look at that little face. Oh, she does it, Thomas. Animals have feelings too, you know. They know when you're not serious about taking care of them. She knows I like her. Just go back to your goldfish. Ah! Whoa, it's okay, girl. Don't worry, he's just a boy. We'll have a talk later. We'll just forget about it. Man, she sure is way with animals, huh? That's because I want to be a vet when I grow up. Okay, Trace. Now put your hand out slowly and there. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. no, go ahead, now pet it on the nose. Bet you can pet it on the nose. Go ahead. Nice looking bite, huh? Man, that's the kind of horse I want to ride. I wouldn't hold my breath for that if I were you. not so bad. We'll be starting our outdoor training run soon. Yeah? Well, this, my friend, is the only kind of spring that I want to get to know. <laughs> sure, in like 10 years. Really? <laughs> well, well, you'll be running. I'll be right in. Take a look. You don't have a chance to win. What about all those city kids? I'll be knocking on every door in Maplewood. And that's why you're here? No, I'm here because Mom has some pretty strange ideas about fun. <laughs> Woo! Hi! <laughs> Maybe Mom wasn't so wrong. Maybe. I take the odd numbers, you take the even numbers. Okay, and you let me ride on it? Okay, look, if you get, say, 10 customers, I'll let you ride on it once every day. You mean we'll share it? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah, let, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, what are you guys so excited about? Oh, uh, no, no, nothing. We're just doing a survey for the newspaper, and uh, it's going pretty well, right, Simon? Uh, yeah, very well. <laughs> really? Uh, tell me, what's the subject? Uh, it, uh, you, you, you wouldn't be interested, you know, especially, you know, busy with the radio station. And your fan club? Yeah, I guess you're right. I shouldn't be hanging around with a bunch of children all day. Well, take a look at what this child is gonna own soon. You're trying to win a motorcycle. Oh, we're, we're not trying. We're gonna win, right, Simon? Well, we have got a lot of names. That's great. So I guess you'll be letting me borrow it sometime? Yeah, right. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm gonna wonder what Mom's gonna say about this. Mom's not gonna say anything because she's not gonna find out, right? So I'll be borrowing it? Yes, you win. See ya. What was that all about? My mother hates motorcycles. Oh no, here we go again. And why do we need to talk to Mr. Jones? Well, I just thought I've always found him to be a very interesting man. Didn't you, Simon? Yes, positively intriguing, I'd say. Actually, I feel that we should always make an effort to uh, reach out to all members of our community. Don't you, Simon? Exactly my thoughts. What? Are you two losing it? Tell me. What's up? <sighs> Nothing. We just got to talk to Mr. Jones. But what about his crazy dog? Oh, I've got him figured out. 
That's what you said every day we've passed by here, Thomas. Lisa, dogs are just animals. Can't be that bad. Yeah, but this animal has been winning for the past five years. <laughs> No animal can resist this. Check this out. What I tell you? Piece of cake. We could pay for subscriptions ourselves. I could afford one, I guess. How about cheating to win? <laughs> Look, are you going to help? I need names here. Boys and toys. So predictable. Anyways, I can't think of anyone who doesn't already subscribe. It's too bad. My dad was always such a good customer. But the deadline's in a week. Why don't you just ask your dad to buy you the motorcycle? Oh, no. You are going to tell your parents, aren't you? I mean, what if you do win the motorcycle? What are your parents going to say? Well, Lisa, it's not like that. You see, uh, right now it's a big secret. And uh, we'll deal with that later. Always looking for trouble. Time for my favorite show. Ah! Oh, we watched one of those shows last week. And you watch your dumb cartoons every day. Dumb? Monster Fighters is an epic story about the struggle between good and evil. No, Sea Lion story's epic. Not some Mr. Monster stupid heroes. Duh. Well... Miss Little Animal Lover is going to have to wait because she ain't going to see her little sloppy sea lion today. And you're not going to see deadhead mutants. What about monster sea lion fighters? Now, that would be one heck of a story. Duh. Way to go, beanhead. Wait up! I'm going to tell Mom! Tracy, why don't you want your animal friend to take you to school? Very funny, Thomas. Ooh. Tracy, no. I said no. No! Tracy, no! Tracy, I said no! No, Tracy! Tracy, no! Oh, you're such a big baby, aren't you, Wolf? Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> Little girl's got away with animals, I guess. Yes, she certainly does. So, you want me to subscribe to that rag of a newspaper of yours? Uh, well, yes, yeah, sir. The, the newspaper certainly uh, has good... I haven't read a newspaper in what? It's got to be, uh, 20 years. Tw 20 years? Sir, the newspaper has changed. The news hasn't changed. I mean, we got wars, we got famine, we got flood. Uh, you tell me what's changed. Why bother? That's what I say. I guess you have a point. Of course I've got a point! <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, history always repeats itself, right? Right? Guess you're right. Now you. You like animals? Yeah! I got something out back that you're really gonna love. Why don't you come with me? Come on, Ralph. <sighs> this is worth it. I haven't seen this pony that happy since I picked it up at an auction. You're just so pretty, aren't you? And Ralphie's just so jealous. Yeah. Tracy, we're gonna be late for school. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, about the subscription, sir, I'm sure that... Hey, you know, kid, all of this makes me real happy and generous. So I will take that subscription from you. You will? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> I, I knew it meant this much to you. Oh. Look, uh, why don't you fill it out? Just, Me? Yeah, no, really, just go ahead and fill it out. <laughs> I'm sure you got uh, better handwriting than me. Just fill it out.
coming up. Oh, it wouldn't cost that much, and I'd take care of her. Be reasonable, Tracy. Where are we going to keep a pony? Well, there's always Mr. Summer's farm. Keep her there, go see her on weekends. Yeah. Well, since when did you become a farm lover? Yeah, and who's going to be driving you out there? Well, uh, I'll have my license soon. <laughs> right. So if you can wait two years, then Alex might get his license. Two years? <laughs> Come on, guys. It's too much to handle. Just think of how much money it would cost to house and feed a pony, even at Tom's farm. I said that you could have a pet. Didn't say you could have a zoo. Mom, you look incredibly nice today. Uh-huh. Tracy, you know you can't always get what you want. Isn't that right, boys? Right, Mom. Right, Mom. <laughs> But, you know, I was thinking, maybe, maybe it'd be okay if Tracy got a different kind of pen. Okay. Yeah! I suppose it's a reasonable idea. <laughs> Tracy, get that rabbit in the backyard. He's gonna run away. He won't run away. Hey, I'm looking for Thomas Thompson. I'm Thomas Thompson. Oh, yeah? Well, looks like you just won yourself a brand new motorcycle. <gasps> I won! Mom! I won! Mom! Dad! Thomas just went up a new motorcycle! I won! It's, um... It's great. Isn't it supposed to be a little, uh... bigger? Well, this is the second prize, kid. That's all I got. What do you want me to do, take it back? No, 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 I'll keep it. <laughs> we'll see about that, young man. Good luck, kid. Seems like you're gonna need it. <laughs> Come on in, you two. This won't take long. First, congratulations on winning. Second, why didn't you tell us that you were entering a contest where you could win a motorcycle? Uh, well, I didn't think it was important. I mean, lo lots of kids have motorcycles. Oh, so that's what you found out in your survey, is it? No. But since I already have the bike... Your mother and I aren't so sure you should keep the motorcycle. You could sell it and put the money into your school fund. Sell it? I can't. That's so unfair. Alex and me, we, we could share the bike. He's almost 16. That is a possibility. Oh, well, I'd be really, really careful, Mom. I don't care. The fact of the matter is, as long as you're living under this roof, there will be absolutely no motorcycles. And that's final. My dad would have done the same thing. Yeah, well, you're a girl. I'm gonna ask my dad to buy it for me. What? <sighs> Traitor. I, I mean, only as a last resort, because then you could ride it with me. Yeah, okay, but that's not gonna happen, because I'm gonna work this out. So what, you're gonna sit here all day? What else can I do? <sighs> Anyways, I gotta go. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, no. <sighs> the scavenger. Hello, boys. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hey, yeah. Oh, what can I do for you? Well, I heard you were trying to uh, get rid of this old motorcycle. <laughs> well, it's not really that old now, is it, Mr. Jones? It's brand new. It's kind of small, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's just perfect for running around town. Yeah, well, uh, then how come the kid isn't keeping it if it's so uh, perfect, eh? Yes, why not, Dad? Because your mother doesn't want you driving it, that's why not. And for that reason, I'm willing to offer you, say, uh, 300 bucks. 300? Mm -hmm. It's brand new, brand new. It cost 1100 that, That's ridiculous. Uh, Thomas, uh, the price tag says 900 but we will uh, listen to any reasonable offer. Well, suit yourself. Of course, uh, maybe we could do a trade. Say, uh, two air conditioners and a uh, saxophone. Saxophone? Yeah, in the back of the truck. Ooh, saxophone <laughs> is a very <laughs> expensive instrument. Dad! Well, maybe we'll just wait on that for a while. Well, like I said, 
Suit yourself. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you think that bike would suit me, Mr. Thompson? Oh, I might, but I'm not sure your father would think so. Exactly. Guess I'll find out. See ya. Tracy! You and that dumb rabbit of yours better get off my bike. You're gonna break something. Fred is not dumb. And it's not your bike. Thomas, <laughs> are you selling this motorcycle? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, what a nice little kitten. <laughs> How much is it? Nine thousand dollars. Actually, it's nine hundred. Oh. But that's just as expensive. That's the asking price. We're willing to consider any reasonable offer. Isn't it a bit small for you, sir? Well, it's a bit smaller than the motorcycle I had in, in Paris just <sighs> after the war. <laughs> yes, sir. Did I never tell you kids about that? Well, <laughs> myself and my brother, we, we bought it. And boy, did we have some fun. <laughs> oh, that's uh, great, sir. We drove that machine everywhere. <laughs> And we didn't even bother with license plates. Hey, this one doesn't yeah. even have plates but yet the, either. My brother and I, we used to take turns uh, riding in the, uh, the, uh, the, the buggy on the side. <laughs> Unless, of course, we, we met a girl, that is. <laughs> it's, it's called a sidecar, but... It... Yes, but where's the buggy on this one? This model doesn't have one. Oh, well, then you better reduce the price. <laughs> That's a nice little puppy. <laughs> My dad pretty well said no, and it wasn't about the money. Well, Simon, you could pay installments over three or four years. He says that your mom is an intelligent woman, and if you're too young to write it, I'm too young to write it. Great, another party pooper. Maybe you're looking at this all wrong. I saw that piece of junk on your front lawn. I want it. Oh, well, it's just too bad your mom's making you sell it, because she says you're too small. Small? Say, like Jacques Villeneuve? No, small like in a little kid. So how much you asking for that little kitty bike anyway? Too much for you to find, Eddie. Yeah, try me. The firm price is $1,500. You're kidding me. Hey, it's a special edition. The only special thing about it is that you don't want me to have it. Hey, hey you read my mind. Well. I'll come by with my dad and we'll see about the special edition price. Don't rush. <laughs> Thomas, did you put away that motorcycle? Yes, sir, it's in the garage. Uh, I just want to tell you that uh, if it was up to me, I'd let you keep the bike. <laughs> really? Yeah. Please don't tell Alex, but I think he's just about ready to ride it, and then he could pass it along to you when he's a little older. The only thing is, I still have to convince your mother. But, but Dad, Eddie said he'd be back tomorrow. Well, I'll have to see what I can do. As we said with Dad, there's only one solution in keeping the bike between us. And that's if I get it, right? Maybe. Well, then I should take her for a uh, test ride around the yard. You know, to show mom how well, safe it is. Dad never said it was fine with him. So, for now, give it up. Well, if someone doesn't ride it, we'll never know how good it is, right? Thanks, pal. But he doesn't even know how. It's a scooter. Anybody can drive it. It's not like a bicycle. It's not a scooter. It's a motorcycle, right, Thomas? Right. OK, go ahead. Just don't scratch it. No problem. See? Everything fits. That's it. He is never, ever touching my motorcycle again. Leave me alone. He's not there. Oh, uh, I'm sure he'll turn up someplace. Hello. Thomas.
Yes, sir. It's Alex. Where are you? You're in so much trouble. Um, uh, I, uh, had an accident. Oh, man. Dad? You okay, Alex? Yes, sir. I'm sorry about this. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Just as long as you're all right, the rest of it can wait. And Thomas, I'll pay for the damages. Don't, don't worry about it. Man. Just as long as you're okay. What, can you walk? Yeah. everywhere and Tracy's beside herself. Oh, right. You know what I think we should do? What? Let's look for Fred tomorrow, because I think he's going to be okay. Besides, I got something to talk to you about. You do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for not telling Mom, eh? Hey. I'm uh, sure you would have done the same. Right? She'll find out soon enough. Get some rest. Thomas, what are you doing up at this hour? I don't know what to say. I just... I think maybe... Maybe we shouldn't say anything this time. It's... It's just that... I guess we're... We're lucky that nothing serious happened. either <laughs> in my hometown 